add your keys product update session. This month, we have three new updates to share with you. Let's start with the first update that's regarding the creative editor. With the festive season approaching, it is a good time to get a little more creative with our creatives so that they capture the attention of our potential customers better and maintain a good CTR percentage. And the Creative Studio can be very helpful in achieving this. Today, we will be exploring how the creative editor can be instrumental in creating our creatives for this festive season. To get started, go to the Create tab of the Creative Editor and out of the available template options, pick the one that you like. Choose all the dimensions that you require. In case you want to create a new template using an existing template as base, pick the Manual option. After you've created your template using this, it would get saved under My Designs tab. You can use it as and when needed. If you opt for the automatic option, the next step would be to pick a product from the catalog. Who is that? Click on generate designs. Your design would be created in all the dimensions that you had opted for. If you want to customize the template, click on the edit option. Here, you would have the option to change the background color, font type, and font size. You would also have the option to change or delete the elements as per your requirement. In case you would like to add more elements, you can do that as well out of all the various options available here. In case you do not want to use the catalog image of your product, you can change that as well and upload a custom image instead. Once you've made all the required changes to the template, you can click on the share tab and either click on finish or download the image. The next update that we have is on the Capit analysis page. It has been updated to provide you with even more in-depth insights regarding your campaigns. Firstly, you can choose the period that you want by using this date range option here. Using the search bar, you can easily find the campaigns that you're looking for. Then, if you've assigned tags to your campaigns, you can sort your campaigns using these tags as well. Additionally, you can sort your campaigns in either increasing or decreasing order based on either ROAS or spends. The default view showcases total spends spends percentage, CTR percentage, number of sales, sales amount, average order value, cost per sale, and ROAS. When you click on view campaigns, it will list down all the campaigns under that particular campaign time. The green dot indicates that a campaign is active, while an inactive campaign would be represented using a gray dot. Summary shows the total of all these individual matrices for the selected period. The comparison view shows the performance of the last seven days as compared to last to last seven days. This view lists spends, sale amount, cost per sale, and ROAS for the current and the previous period. Here also we have the option to drill down and look at the specific campaigns under each campaign type. Next, we have the ROAS view. This view lists all the key matrices that impact the ROAS. Here, we look at spends, CPM, CTR percentage, landing page views by link clicks, add to cart percentage, transaction rate, average order value, and finally, the ROAS. Observing the trends campaign wise will give us insights as to how exactly each metric is performing on the campaign level. The last update that we have for this month is regarding the video format while creating a custom ad. We now have the option to upload a separate video for stories as per the dimensions that are more suited for story placements. This would help us in avoiding the videos getting cropped to fit the dimensions of story placements. 
However, you would still have the option to use the same video for both feed and story. You can opt for it by checking on this box here. This wraps up the update session for this month. We hope these updates will help you in making the upcoming festive season an even bigger success. Thank you for joining in.